Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it is actually currently the next day, but um, just before we get into all that, all the events and everything, I just want to um, tell you guys about a couple things. Um, so we head to the event and we got there and we started to get set up for everything. And basically the way we were set up and the, the pins we took and all that stuff, we had to set up a little differently than you would probably see most people set up at a pin trading event. There's a lot of stuff just laying out and we also don't have like those big, huge binders that a lot of people have to keep their pins in. So we were just a little bit all over the place in a way. Um, and it was also our first um, pin trading event. So yeah, we got there, got everything set up. You guys are gonna see that process. And then I'm gonna go around showing a lot of other people's pin collections. And then I'll show you a couple trades as they're being made. And then I'll show you guys the haul at the end of this video. So be sure to stay tuned for that because we had some very, very, very nice pins. Some cool pins. It was a very good, it was a very good haul. Um, not necessarily like tons and tons of pins, but in terms of quality and pins we needed to complete certain sets, I think we really scored there. So you guys are gonna be excited to see all those pins. But now we're going to rewind we're gonna turn back time and head over to the pin event, go through all that stuff. Then I will see you guys here towards the end of the video to go through the hall. Today, we're here at a pin event. We are all getting set up now. We're here early just to get all our pins set out and everything. We have all our stuff in these bags here. So we're gonna set it all out on some of this table. We'll try not to take the whole thing because we are expecting a decent amount of traders here today. But yeah, we're gonna set up and then I will show you guys our pins. And of course, once everyone gets here, I will show you all of their pins as well. All right, so we have all our pins out. Not yet organized, but we've got them out at least. So now we're going to begin organizing on our table here. And I will show you guys what all we got. That's 
a goal, that's for sure. Mm. Oh, these here? No, no or... not those. These. Okay. Yeah, the full set. These are part of this as well. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Yeah. These unfortunately traded most of them out. But... Thank 
tons of pins. I'll show you guys those when we get back. All right, guys. So we are now back home. I'm going to go through our pin haul, and I don't really know where to start. So I guess I will start here with this stitch pin. We did get this one uh, when we were in a um, few part days back, maybe something like that. Uh, we did get this stitch pin on the surfboard. This one is pretty cool. I do like it. So we went ahead and traded for another one, which is a good score. That's our starting pin. I'll try to keep everything in frame if possible, starting up there. So next up, this Jiminy Cricket Disneyland pin. This one is pretty cool. All right, next up we have this Encanto pin featuring Mirabelle and Antonio. This is a pretty good pin. We did like it. We didn't. We haven't. We don't have this one, um, obviously. So went ahead and traded for it. We did enjoy the movie. It was a good movie. Um, so yeah, this is one of the few Encanto pins we have. So definitely had to trade for it. Next up, we're gonna go with this Wish pin featuring Asha and Star. This one I don't believe we had. I'm gonna have to look back at this set and see if we got it. I don't think we did. There's two with Asha and Star. I think we have the other one, but don't think we had this one. Um, so we went ahead and traded for it just in case. But um, after this, I will look and see um, if we do. But if we don't, there's that. And I think that nearly completes that set for us actually. Next up is this lounge fly. You've got Lilo and Stitch here on a little three-wheeler. <laughs> This one is, this one's pretty cool. I did like the colors of it, and um, it's just, I thought it was a pretty cool pin, so I went ahead and snagged it. Next up, we have this rocket pin. This one is pretty good size, and it's a pretty good, pretty good looking pin, too. Good quality, and good size, and rocket, he's a favorite of mine from the Guardian, so went ahead and traded for it. Next up, we have this cool Tower of Terror hotel pin. This one is really cool. I love the key, and then I love that it's got this on the end of it. Yeah, very cool pin. Definitely traded for it. I believe it's old. I believe it's older too. Yeah, this is from 07. So yeah, definitely an older pin. And yeah, just a very very cool one. And that's also one of my favorite attractions at Walt Disney World. So next up, we have this Christmas pin. So this one is pretty cool. It is a lounge fly, um, but it opens up and you've got Pooh and Piglet there uh, by the window and you've got a Christmas tree kind of in the background. Yeah, this one was a really cool pin and we have a Christmas board that we're putting together finally. <laughs> and uh, this one will definitely, definitely be on there. Then keeping with the Christmas theme, we have a Pinocchio and Dumbo Christmas wreath. And I believe this is part of a mystery set. Um, we have a, f we, I think we have a couple other of these, maybe. We got like one or two, something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna add these to the Christmas board, along with the Winnie the Pooh pin. So next up we have one of the Greek God pins from that Hercules set. This one is Poseidon. I believe we have almost all of these now. There are quite a few of them. But yeah, this one has Poseidon. It says Poseidon on the back too. I just, I'm just now noticing that. Um, but yeah, we finally got him. 
I have not seen him anywhere at all, actually. So these two pins are going to go with Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. And these pins were produced in 2002. I have never seen them before. And yeah, being from O2, they are definitely, definitely old pins. So, and I love Star Wars. So these were, these were definites for our collection. And next up, we have this pin from that one scene I always forget about in Alice in Wonderland. It's, I think it's during the chase or whatever. I, it's, I, anyway, there's that one scene I always forget in Alice in Wonderland. And um, yeah, this pin is from that. I never see any pins featuring these characters anyway. Um, so yeah, this was definitely one I wanted to grab and I'm glad I did. So next up we have this Loungefly Miko pin. My, my sister-in-law is going to love this one. Um, but yeah, this is a good size pin. I do like the quality and the colors on it too. And uh, yeah, he's, a, he's definitely a fan favorite. So I went ahead and grabbed this one for her. And next up, we have this Space Mountain pin. This one's very cool. I didn't have it. And Space Mountain being my favorite attraction, we went ahead and snagged it. Good size pin too, good colors, good weight. So yeah, definitely happy to have that in the collection. So next up, we have another Loungefly pin. This I love the colors on this one, by the way. You got Cinderella, you got the castle, a couple birds in the background, and you've got two different shades, night and day. Yeah, it's a very good looking pin. This is a lounge fly, if I didn't mention. And pumpkin shape, of course. And then next up, we have this Monsters, Inc. Randall pin with the scream canister. Monsters, Inc. is my favorite Pixar film. Uh, fun fact. Might not be the most popular, but it's probably my favorite. And uh, yeah, went ahead and stacked this one. This was a late trade. Right before we were all packing up and getting ready to head out. So yeah, I thought, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and grab this. Then next up we have this Walt Disney Imagineering LE400, or Walt Disney Imagineering exclusive LE400 Adorbs pin. This one is Daisy Duck. I I know there's at least a Donald. I'm assuming there are a bunch of these. But anyway, they're kind of hard to come by. And we may have one other one, possibly. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this one, yeah, very cool pin. Glad to have it in our collection. This will probably end up on our, um, probably end up on our Easter board or something. Then next up, we have three of these Haunted Mansion pins. This is part of a mystery set. I want to say there's like 12 of these or something. But yeah, we went ahead and grabbed three of them. And three we didn't have, I don't believe. There's a chance we had him. But I don't think we did. So yeah, these were these were cool pins to snag. I think we're almost done <laughs> with that collection finally. There are just there are quite a few of them, so it's kinda hard to keep up. But yeah, and keeping with the Haunted Mansion theme, we've got this one here, this hatbox ghost. Yeah, and this one does not go with that set. Initially I thought it did, just upon first glance, but this one's actually just an individual pin. So just on its own on a card, I think it costs like 10 bucks, maybe. Um, but we went ahead and grabbed it. It looks good with all those pins too, by the way. So it'll be, yeah, with that one and the others on our attractions board. Then keeping with the Haunted Mansion theme. Got this one here. This is also a decent size set, I believe. We have a couple of these, not this character specifically, but we have a couple from this set. So yeah, hadn't seen him, so we went ahead and grabbed it. One more for the Haunted Mansion theme. Got this stretching room scene. Kind of hard to, uh, kind of hard to see this one here. But yeah. And this one is a lounge fly as well. As you can see on the back there. So yeah, definitely a cool, definitely a cool pin. So next up we have these four pins. These are four lands at Magic Kingdom. This is a good one to have for sure. Uh, Frontierland, Country Bears, Tomorrowland, you got Stitch, Adventureland, you've got an elephant, 
um, from the Jungle Cruise. And then up here you got Mickey Mouse, Liberty Square. So yeah, these are four four solid pins. And I'm, I'm I believe these were on a four pin card set. So yeah, I went ahead and grabbed all of them. So next up we got another cool looking pin here. So you've got so this is like a view of you got the contemporary there and you've got Cinderella Castle and then you've got a boat really cool over the Seven Seas Lagoon yeah this is a very cool pin and the colors are just I mean there there's not much to them but they just look so good and this is also from a Walt Disney World 50th yeah very cool pin definitely had to snag it and next up we have this d23 hoth pin star wars episode 5 you got the at at and you've got the snow speeder here tying the cable around the legs obviously a classic scene from the film this is a very good size pin like i said d23 and again huge star wars fan so glad to have this one so apparently this is half of well clearly it's half it's like a house but the other half was you know, cut off but anyway um i'm a big jungle book fan so i went ahead and grabbed this pin it says my home is an adventure which that <laughs> that is that is very true to how um it was growing up for me being one of five kids um so yeah this was this is a cool pin and keeping with the disneyland theme we have this Disneyland California Adventure exclusive pin here. You've got Donald, you got Mickey, you got Goofy, and you've got Pluto here. Very, very cool pin. Decent size. And I don't see a date. I don't see a date on this one. But it's definitely, definitely on the older side. You can just kind of tell. So yeah, very cool pin. Then next up we have a couple carousel pins. I really did like the way these pins looked, and I just just always liked carousel pins. Um, so we'll start off with this Aurora pin. Very cool. This is a part of a set. I believe there's like, actually, I should say on the back here. Yeah, there are 11 of, le 11 of these. This is number three of 11. So yeah, that one's cool. And then I like this one here. I uh, kind of... Kind of reminds me of the Aurora one, but also possibly Mary Poppins. I'll have to look that up, but yeah. Another cool little pin here. This is from the mini main attraction set. So that's a, that's a cool one to have. Then next up we have a couple cool Big Thunder Mountain pins. This is Ashley's favorite attraction. And yeah, these are also very cool pins. Neither one we had, neither one I've even seen actually. Um, this one is from 2005. And then we got this one here from the year 2000. And yeah, they're just very, very cool pins. I do like the colors on this one. Yeah, very cool. Then you got this one here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I meant to say this one is from 2004, not five. But anyway, then next up, we have another Peter Pan pin here. Got Peter Pan and Wendy. This is at the beginning of the film when he pops in. Through the window there yeah this one is this one's very cool haven't seen this one very good very good quality pin and then next up we have this disneyland pin disneyland d pin the colors on this are awesome so i'm glad to have traded for it and yeah just a very good just a very good looking pin and i just the cut the colors just caught my eye and all that stuff so yeah Next up, we have this pin from the Bounty Hunter collection that I believe released last year. Yeah, this series released last year. It's Bounty Hunter Mystery Pin series. This is Zam Weasel. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. She was a bounty hunter in Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. Um, so yeah, they went through a whole thing, thing near the beginning of the film. Um, but yeah, she was yeah trying to take out the senator and then led to a chase with... Um, her Obi Wan and Anakin, um, just through Coruscant. It was a it was a cool scene, but uh, yeah, they eventually they eventually got to her, met her demise, and um, yeah, 
So yeah, cool pin to have there. We now have a couple of those Bounty Hunter pins. And then next up, we have this Cheshire, or Cheshire, however you choose to pronounce it, pin. This one is very cool. Uh, colors are really good too. It's simple, but it's just, it's just a really good looking pin. And good size, good weight, great quality. Yeah, this is a new pin as well. Yeah, I just love, I really, I don't, I don't know why, but I just love that background. It's like a bluish, you can kind of tell there, like a darker, deep blue. But yeah, just a very good, very good looking pin. Then next up, we have these three Hidden Mickey pins. So these are technically called Hidden Mickeys. Obviously, last year they started calling them Hidden Disney pins. Um, but yeah, these are, in fact, Hidden Mickeys. So you've got Cheshire, Cheshire, the D. We have been missing that one, so we're glad to have traded for it. And you've got Aurora there, and you got Rapunzel from Tangled. This one was so hard for us to find, and I'm glad, so glad we could have traded, so glad we had traded for it. These pins are really nice. I really do love this series, and uh, yeah, glad to have gotten all three of these. Then next up, just want to show this Marvel pin real quick. This is a very cool pin. I didn't have it, hadn't traded for it, hadn't bought it. So yeah, um, I made a few trades with this same kid at the pin event. Um, I got this and a few others from him. But yeah, this is a this is a very good pin. Very good size, good quality, and everything. And I'm a big Marvel fan as well. And next up, we have this. Cluster pin or supporting cast. I believe it's what it's called. This one is from Fantasia So you've got you got Yen Sid in the middle there. Then you got all the other characters around This one does not feature Sorcerer Mickey uh, But you do have kind of the broomsticks in a couple different spots there and then of course all the other characters Pegasus and All that stuff. But yeah, this is a very good pin very good quality obviously great size and yeah, I love Fantasia. And Sorcerer Mickey's my he's my favorite character in all of Disney. So yeah, glad to have that pin. And next up we have these three here. So this is from a Haunted Mansion mystery set. And we have now officially completed it. These were the last three we were missing, the three colored ones, of course. And yeah, this we're glad to have this set. I really do like it. And I really do like the colors on these pins here. And next up, we have this Pirates of the Caribbean pin. This is from the Ride. And yeah, I this was a, also a last second trade I made with a couple from Nashville, Tennessee, which was cool. I'm actually originally from Nashville, if y'all didn't know. Um, so yeah, just chatted with them for a minute and made the trade. And also, as you can see there, Jack... Sparrow, if you remember that scene, he's popping up out of the barrel behind this guy. So yeah, he does that. Um, and then he just kind of drops back in. You can kind of slide him up on the back here. If you take the back off, um, you can kind of see that it slides up and down like that. So yeah, very cool pin. Glad to have made that trade. And it's also old too. 2006, so... We love the older pins. Then next up we have these awesome Christmas pins. So we've got Cinderella from the Contemporary. You've got Aurora from Grand Floridian. You've got Tiana from Port Orleans. Yeah, these are very good pins. Very good, good, very good looking, colors are great. Glad to have all three of these. So I actually forgot to film a couple of these pins um, yesterday, so here are a few others that we got, starting with this Cheshire Cat pin, or Cheshire Cat, from Disneyland Paris. This is a very good quality pin, good looking pin too. It's in great shape, terrific shape. Um, so yeah, that is one. Then next up, I did a little research on this one. Um, so it's from Marimo Craft. It is um, I, like a Japanese Tokyo, Japan licensed um, Disney pin. Um, so I assume it's it's not like an, I don't think it's an official trading pin. It's kind of like a fantasy type deal. Um, so there's their 
you can kind of see the MC from Marimo Craft. But yeah, um, it was a really cool pen, and colors are great, quality's great too, so we went ahead and traded for it. Then last but not least, if I can hold these all out, we have this set. These are awesome. If I can get them, there we go. These are really cool. So at the front, you've got Ariel. Next, you got Jasmine, Snow White, Aurora, then Cinderella. So the last one, the Caboose, is actually Belle. Um, and the people we traded with did not have that one. So we'll probably try to find it on our own to complete the set. Oops. But yeah, that is, this is all of them. And these are Loungefly as well. But yeah, very, very nice pins. Very good quality. And we just love how they go together like that. The Cinderella is probably my favorite out of all these. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, those are all the pins that I accidentally missed. But yep, that is now back to the rest of the haul. And then next up, I wanted to show you guys all the hidden Disney pins we were able to trade for. These are the new ones from Walt Disney World. So we got four of the five droids currently out. Just missing R2 now, even though that one looks almost identical to them. Um, then we got three of the ear hats. We got Ariel, Stitch, Cinderella. We got three of the villains, Chernabog, um, Maleficent, and Evil Queen. Then we got two of the Stitch. You've got Easter, and you've got July 4th. So yeah, we did pretty well with the hidden Disney pins there. Then next up we have this Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway pin. Um, you can't really see it, but it's in that top corner there. Second 2PP, second pre-production. Yeah, this is, a, this is a very cool pin. And definitely rare, of course. So yeah, we were glad to have traded for it. Then next up, we have these amazing pins. We're going to start off with Captain Hook and Peter Pan. Obviously, as you can tell, this is a big pin. I have big hands, but this pin is just, it's big. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I believe there's a set of, there's, a, I think there are four of these. Obviously, you can buy them individually, but technically they do kind of go together. You've got that one. Then next, you have this one here. And again, these are very big pins. And these are Disneyland Paris as well. Of course, Paris gets... Paris has all the big, colorful-looking good pins, which is why we love collecting those. And then lastly, you've got Peter Pan with the Jolly Roger. Yeah, these are very, very nice pins. And yeah, we have three of the four, as you can kind of see right there. All right, we have one more pin, and then we are all done. And last... But certainly not least, this. This beauty right here. Got this Sleeping Beauty limited edition jumbo pin. Oh my goodness, this thing is incredible. Yeah, I saw this pin very early at the event. In fact, I think the event, the event had just started. And I had, absolutely had to have it. Absolutely had to have it. So here it is without the cover on. Yeah, this pin is just, it's, it's incredible. Let's see how we're glad to have traded for it. I mean, I just, I, I still can't get over this. I've been looking at this thing so much. It's just so, so nice and so cool. And I'll take it off the card so you can kind of see it in comparison to just like my hand. All right, so here it is off of the backer card. Yeah, this thing is so nice. I mean, just, it is so nice. And obviously being an LE 300, definitely hard to get. Of course, being an Imagineering pin, you've got the Sorcerer hat as the backing on the card here. And here it is just in kind of kind of in comparison with my hand. So here's my hand, just kind of fully extended. It's not even really fitting in frame. 
Um, I guess I can kind of turn it that way. But anyway, here's the pen in my hand, and I have very big hands, and this pen almost takes up <laughs> my whole hand, which is just crazy. I mean, this pen is just so, it is just so, I still can't get over it. It's so nice. But yeah, that's going to complete our haul. I'm going to set this down and show you guys everything here. Okay, so here are all of the pens that we traded for at the event. Yeah, we did. We did pretty well, I will say. I really think that Sleeping Beauty pen takes the cake. To me it does, but these these three Peter Pans down here at the bottom, these big pins, these are very, very nice as well. And I do love these Christmas pins. I, re I mean, I love all of them. And of course you got our Hidden Disneys here. We did pretty well. Again, missing R2 for that. Then missing Figment. And I forget which other one we're missing. And of course, there's like a completer and super completer for the year hats. Of course, those will be hard to get. And a few villains, a couple stitch. So yeah, we did pretty good with those as well. And of course, you got this one. I mean, come on. <laughs> this one definitely takes the cake. I mean, they're all great pins, but this one is... That one's just incredible. So yeah, guys, that is the full haul. Again, we did pretty well. So yeah, that's going to do it from us guys. Again, really good haul. Um, a lot of good pins here. I just, I can't, I just can't stop looking at them. We just, I don't know. That was so much fun. Um, again, shout out to Kevin for putting this event on. We had a great time. We were expecting probably like, I was expecting at least 35 people. We ended up with upwards of 70 to 80. So there was a really good turnout and just a lot of great trading. I had a great time meeting all of you guys and trading with you all, and thank you for trading with me. And to those of you um, who held on to the droid pens and a few of the others for me, I really do appreciate that. Um, I love Star Wars, love when Disney drops hidden Mickeys or hidden Disneys. Um, so yeah, we were glad to have as many of those as possible. So thank you guys again. And just again, thank you to everyone who traded with us and everyone was just so friendly, and it was just, just all around a great time. And we had we just had so much fun. And again, being our first pin event, we weren't exactly sure what to expect, but we had, I mean, we just, we had a blast, and we can't wait for the next one. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you made it to the end of the video, I really do appreciate it. I know it was kind of a long one, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy seeing the haul as well. So anyway, that's going to do it. It's time for me to eat some dinner. It's getting kind of late. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, stay safe. Tell someone you love them. We'll see you in the next video.